What's up guys, Florin Nash here and welcome back to a new tutorial about LumaFusion using an iPad. So in today's video we're gonna discuss about scrolling titles, how to create them and how to import them to appear and blend them to appear into your project. So let's start with the LumaFusion first. I already created um, a project and inserted a um, short video. Uh, for about 40 seconds but we don't gonna use uh, the entire video I gonna use this just to uh, show exact uh, show you exactly how it's work and how to implement this so first let's go to create our uh, scrolling titles we're gonna use for this uh, key notes which uh, actually um, isn't you can find it in any iPad so first let's create a new slide we're gonna delete the first part because uh, first and second we're gonna leave only one to insert the text uh, keep in mind that you can put whatever text you want you can put titles you can put uh, names of factors uh, name of people which uh, actually help you to create a project uh, names of uh, sponsors that uh, assist your project or any other text you want up here scrolling in your video this one let, uh, I, I already chose uh, text from my school project actually it doesn't matter exactly what text I gonna use I just want to show you how to create it so let's insert this one uh, first uh, it will appear with a white uh, in a white color but to be able to see this let's change the background the black uh, let's go to the color second one and choose go to around 120 degrees take this slightly uh, over to the right uh, let's select the whole text and edit it a bit so it is already and bots should be up here more visible uh, like 38 the size uh, color it is white uh, we're gonna use for this one two slides one on the right and one on the left as you may see and uh, and the movies up here two slides with the names on the left and the right so for the first one we're gonna use this one for the left size uh, okay let's go back and modify the size of the slides let's drag this up and slide it down until it will appear the maximum the highest size of the text it should be like this okay so let's place this first here and duplicate this and create another one let's see let's make this the same size drag this down nice look okay let's change the style of the text go back to the brush and now choose the other side starting from the left just drag this down and match them you have a great bar here on top uh, all you need to do is to leave about one centimeter between them but make sure that they are in line to create this little gap between text so now to be able to animate this and appear scrolling all you need to do is go to the right uh, three dots then tap in transition and builds add the transition and here you're gonna choose magic move it's gonna make a black uh, this then when you tap back to, to the slides gonna automatically ask you to duplicate the layer just tap duplicate as you can see another layer up here on the bottom so all you need to do now go to the first slide 
take the slice text and put them down until disappear from the uh, green screen take the second one too but keep in mind to do the same thing with um, to arrange them in the line and also uh, keep an eye on the graded bar on top and for the second slide we're gonna do the same thing but on this time we're gonna put them on top of uh, the green screen like here and take the second one too like here something like that just a little bit down okay now go to the first slide and tap play and see there you go so now all you need to do is to just tap down hit uh, tap on export and export this as a movie you have more options here like, uh, resolution we can uh, take this out as uh, 4k or 1080p we're gonna use 1080p on this time because my uh, project video is actually 1080p is not a 4k but you can use this uh, uh, slide text as a 4k we're gonna leave like this right now just tap export now save as a video and now go back to your project on Luma Fusion. there you go and we have here already um, imported our our video and photos photo and video we're gonna take this one and we're gonna add it you want to start from here right now it shows um, a green screen but to blend this just double tap on it go to color and effects is here the, down the right go to chroma keys the second one from the right and choose green screen key now go somewhere in the middle where appear the, the the text and play a bit with the settings let's go first with the hue range go slightly back until the text it's more visible don't go too much otherwise you'll see the text appear as a green so somewhere here and then go to the saturation range and drag it slowly down into the left not too much because again it will come more green in my case it should be somewhere here like 70 68 70 and let's see with the brightness if we can do anything not too much should be fine somewhere on the middle okay now let's see how it looks okay because the text is gonna be too fast let's we'll start from here so let's cut the first part which doesn't show anything and let's cut again where the text ends like here and then uh, what you can do just go back on it double tap on it go to speed and decrease the speed uh, I will say like 30 
Let's go back and see how it looks now. I think 30 is it is a bit too low. So let's go back and change it to I would say half of the time. So this is one method and there's another method. Let's take this off. Let's delete it. If we go back on to keynotes, go to the first slide, then back to transition and build, tap again on ma uh, magic move, and you'll see here the duration. The duration is of um, two seconds, so let's change this one. Let's increase it to, let's say 20 seconds. Okay, done. And then export again as a movie. Export. Save to video. And let's go back. And as you can see, it's appear again here. So let's take this one and place it on top of let's see no, I should start here let's do a cut take the first part out and then text will disappear here let's take this off now the speed just decrease for a bit like 80 should work or let's say 90 and go back to color and effects chroma keys green screen and play again with the settings here Here should be fine. Let's see how it is look now. And there we go. It appears slowly. This slice get it faster because of the side of the slice was increased for I think for a little bit but what you can do you can work more on it and make it uh, match the li uh, the lines uh, also the size of the slides and it should work perfect so uh, there you go so this is the process on how you can create uh, scrolling titles with, uh, to appear in your uh, project in your videos uh, as I mentioned before, you can add names, uh, you can add uh, sponsors, you can add any text you want to appear on your one, on your video. Uh, make this more realistic. Play around with the settings. This was just a quick uh, guide and show how to create it, how to export and import on uh, your project. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, if you did don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to this channel because more other tutorials will come up how to use and how to create things on iPad regarding videography and photography so uh, that's it for today until next time stay safe enjoy your life use whatever you have I'll see you in the next video take care bye